Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from A Capable Man. Today we're doing an unboxing. As uh, some of you know or may not know, I'm switching from powerlifting to body bodybuilding this year. And uh, I got my first competition coming up in November 2nd, which is about 38 weeks from now. I started the weight loss uh, December 15th. I'm down about 40-ish pounds. And now to really start to fine tune things, we have to start looking at my body fat reading, um, to see how much body fat versus lean muscle mass I have to really start to adjust the calories So what I've reduced right now has worked well But now we really have to start fine-tuning things because I want to bring my body fat Down to about 10% for this show now 10% won't win a bodybuilding show But 10% for me I'll actually have abs for the first time right and that's not bad considering I'm starting at 396 pounds back in December 15 so we need a tool to have something to track so on amazon.ca I bought the Renfo Digital Scale Specialist, and it came in today, so we're doing a little bit of an unboxing, and um, kind of cheating, I already did this, but we're gonna go through it so I can show you guys how, probably the best $40 I've ever spent. So I opened the box, it came literally just like this, ready to go, without the foot smudges on it already, that kind of thing. And then all you do is you open up the back, slide that open, and three AAA batteries that came with it, put it in there, Let's see if I can do this here. Slide it back in. It's ready to go. Again, flat surface. Nice tile here. And it's meant to sink. Sink. It's meant to sink with your iPhone. So you download the app. This is the app here called the Renfo. And so fit. So I weighed earlier today when I first got it before I uh, just had a big chicken rice lunch with Lewis here. So 359.8 pounds. The last time I weighed in uh, was last Sunday, and I was 350. I, weighed, I was weighing once a week, first thing when I got here Sunday before benching, before my first meal, sort of to see the change. But what I have to do now is to really start to monitor things more specifically. I'm actually going to weigh in every day, look at the averages, and see how things are, are adjusting. So not trying to be a 14 year old high school girl here worried about her weight and jumping on the scale every day we don't want to do that this is really for me to stay on top of things and track so like i said i've reduced my calories lost some good weight but now we have to dial it in because what we're going to figure out with these numbers is how many calories a day i should be taking in and then create the deficit per day to get me to that 10 percent what that's going to look like so what's cool here on this phone is every time you do it and we'll do a weigh-in after every time you jump on it uh, Bluetooth, with Bluetooth will sync and it'll keep your information for you so 359.8 pounds my BMI is 46.2 body fat 30.4 percent I was kind of estimating it to be around 30 percent before doing that so I was pretty close um, I want to get that down to 10 percent so that's going to be a 20 percent decrease over the next 38 weeks and that's what we're going to do to work backwards from and then with this number these specific numbers, my fat-free mass, my fat mass, I'm going to be able to cal start to calculate uh, more exactly the calories I have to do. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to get on the scale and show you how it works. So now what I do when I weigh in, I get right down to the skivvies. We won't necessarily go that far today for you viewers. If I had abs, I'd take my shirt off. I'd never wear a shirt. So I get down to the bare feet. I will drop my drawers because I have clean underwear on today. So that, that day of the week, so we scored. And then we just simply stand on it. This thing's rated for 396 pounds. So there you go. I was 359. So with that meal, I put 4.34 pounds on there. That means it's done. If I look over here, this thing should start spinning and I readjust it. So we readjusted for C363.4. My body fat went up a little bit, and it gave me the adjustments overall. So what's cool is I can do trends. Now, I won't do hourly trends, but it's going to give me daily trends, and I can see where the weight's coming down. I can see where I'm moving around, right? And if I want to share this with my bodybuilding coach, what I do is, is I go up here, and I hit plus, and I hit share, and it actually gives me a cool little summary over there. So I'll let you take a look at that. So I'll send that to my bodybuilding coach so he can see how my numbers are changing and what's going on. So this way, we can make changes weekly, every two weeks, whatever we feel is needed to go down. Now, in looking at the 38 weeks, uh, we have to be fairly aggressive. I've lost, again, 
uh, 40 plus since Christmas, uh, since before Christmas. So right now we're February 8th. So in about six weeks, I'm down about 40 pounds, seven weeks. I'm gonna keep that going down because roughly if I'm 360 at 30% and I wanna get down to 10%, that means I'm gonna weigh probably around 240, 245 pounds. So I still have 120 pounds to lose in the next 38 weeks or so. So that's why now we're gonna figure out our calories and then we're gonna backtrack. So if I'm allowed basically to stay alive at 363 pounds or 359, if I'm allowed 3,200 calories a day, what we're gonna figure out is how many calories deficit per day I need to run to drop enough weight every week to dial me into 10%. And there's some calculations factoring lean muscle mass loss and all that kind of thing as well. So it's quite, quite technical. That's why I'm using a bodybuilding coach who specializes in this. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out by the end of today uh, let's say I'm supposed to eat 3,400 calories. The deficit, I think, is probably going to come in around 2,400 total. So I'll probably have a deficit of about 12 to 1,400 calories, uh, down to 2,400, 2,500 calories. And then at that point, we figure out how much protein I need, and then we figure out the balance of the calories are going to get split between carbs and fats. Then we're going to turn around. What I'm going to do to make this easy is once I know exactly how many grams of protein a day I need, exactly how many grams of carbs and exactly how many grams of fat, I'm gonna sit down with my bodybuilding coach and I'm gonna create four meals so that every day I know exactly what four meals, what measurements, what weights of meat, what measurements of carbs and stuff I need and each of those four meals, specifically what they are so that they're always ready for me. And I know in doing that and that food prep, it's gonna make my life a lot easier. So if I'm hungry, too bad, you've got four meals, hang on for another hour, get your second meal, get your third meal. If I'm not hungry, too bad, eat your third meal, and it's time to eat your third meal, that kind of thing. So I'm taking the emotion out of it, I'm taking the thinking out of it. Uh, we're doing all that ahead of time. We're doing all the planning ahead, that way. So I have to say, for, for a $40 spend on Amazon, this is really cool. You know, I'm gonna weigh in, like I said, every day. We're gonna see how it goes, the fact that it syncs to the phone. Uh, it's, it's pretty accurate. You know, I mean, bioimpedance, what this kind of technology is, it's not quite as exact as definitely hydrostatic underwater weighing but it's a fraction of the cost. And what we're really trying to see, whether I'm 30.7% body fat or 33 or 32, that's not really important. What's important is that it says, according to this measuring method, that I'm 30.7% body fat, and over the weeks it starts going down, it's that change that we're looking at overall. So for you guys that are looking to lose weight and, and not necessarily compete, um, it, it's not gonna happen without weighing yourself. It's not gonna happen without figuring out what kind of calories you need per day and breaking it down. This is a pretty good spend overall, and like I said, we're going to use it every day. And um, so, guys, yeah, by using that tool every day, I'm able to average out, make sure I'm staying on track. But uh, for you guys, uh, if you have any questions, drop them in in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. And check back every week. I'm going to throw up a little progress of how things are going and what the journey's like. I'm already doing it on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to do it here as well too, so you guys can see if I can do it, you can do it. I'll talk to you guys later.